Also during his speech in New York, President Yun set out his plan for global prosperity by tackling certain divisions between developed and developing countries. Our Kim do has the details. President Yun song at the podium of the UN General Assembly on Wednesday said the word division 13 times during his 15-minute speech. The frequency of the use of the word highlights President Yoon's ambition to make South Korea a global contributor, which helps developing economies to close the gap with other nations. Today, According to President Yoon, South Korea will tackle three specific divisions, infrastructure development, the impact of climate change and digital capabilities. The developmental gap refers to countries that lack essential infrastructure for living, such as clean water and sanitation systems. To achieve this, South Korea will raise its official development assistance budget by 40 percent in 2024. Much of that will go into education and training to help countries build the capacity to progress socially and economically on their own. To address the climate change gap, South Korea will scale up its green ODA to assist vulnerable countries with reducing carbon emissions and accelerating their transition to clean energy, promising 300 million U.S. dollars to the Green Climate Fund. It's also seeking to set up the carbon-free alliance with nations that are willing to promote the adoption of carbon-free energy. For the digital divide, which President Yoon says is a major cause of economic division between nations, South Korea will actively support digital transformation for lower-income economies. In addition, it will lead in the establishment of an international organization under the UN to discuss and set forth rules regarding digital ethics. The president wrapped up his speech with another push for Busan's World Expo 2030 bid tying it together with the nation's motivation to step up as a globally contributing nation. He added that the Busan Expo will serve as a platform to spread freedom in the spirit of solidarity through which the world's citizens can overcome crises and challenges together. One year ago, President Yoon emphasized freedom and solidarity here at the UN. And since then, he has fostered stronger relations with like-minded nations. Now, for this year, as he commits to bridging the mentioned divisions, he has set out measures to put his vision into even more practical actions. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News, New York.